Have you ever stopped to consider the sand beneath your feet and its potential to change the world as we know it? Picture a vast expanse of sand, stretching as far as the eye can see. This is not a beautiful beach or a stunning desert landscape. This is in fact a crisis, a crisis that is spreading across the globe at an alarming rate. It's called desertification, and it's turning fertile, productive lands into barren wastelands. Now you might be thinking, desertification, I've never heard of it. And that's part of the problem. This process is often overlooked, overshadowed by more well-known environmental issues, but its impact is just as severe, if not more so. Desertification is essentially the process by which fertile land becomes desert, typically as a result of drought, deforestation, or inappropriate agriculture. And it's happening all around us. The United Nations estimates that over 25% of the Earth's land is highly degraded and this figure is only increasing. One country that is particularly affected by this crisis is Niger. Located in West Africa, Niger is battling against the encroaching Sahara Desert. Over the past few decades the desert has been steadily creeping southwards, swallowing up farmland and forcing communities to relocate. This is not just an environmental issue, it's a social and economic one too. The loss of fertile land has severe implications for food security and livelihoods. In Niger, where over 80% of the population relies on subsistence farming, the impact is devastating. It's a vicious cycle. As the land becomes less productive, people are forced to over-farm the remaining fertile areas, which in turn accelerates the process of desertification. But here's the thing. Understanding this process and its implications is the first step towards finding a solution. We need to not only be aware of desertification but also understand its causes, its impact, and most importantly what can be done to combat it. But what if we could reverse this process? What if we could restore life to these barren lands? In Niger people are doing just that, turning the tides against desertification. Picture this, a land once filled with lush greenery teeming with life, slowly being swallowed by the encroaching desert. This was the fate of Niger, a country located in the heart of Africa. The transformation didn't happen overnight. It was a process that took decades, even centuries, fueled by a combination of natural and human factors. To understand the magnitude of the change, we need to turn back time, back to when the land was fertile and vibrant. Historically, Niger was a land blessed with diverse flora and fauna. The Sahel region, which Niger is part of, was a green belt separating the Sahara Desert from the tropical savannas. But over time, the balance tipped. The desert began to creep in, a process known as desertification. Desertification in Niger was triggered by several factors, one of them was climate change. Changes in rainfall patterns coupled with rising temperatures made the land increasingly arid. The vegetation began to thin out, the soil lost its fertility, and the desert started to spread. Another factor was human activity. Overgrazing, deforestation and unsustainable farming methods stripped the land of its protective vegetation cover. This left the soil exposed to wind and water erosion, further accelerating desertification. Today, desertification in Niger has reached alarming levels. More than three-quarters of the country is desert or semi-desert. The impact on the people and the economy has been devastating. Food security is threatened, livelihoods are at risk, and poverty levels are on the rise. But the story doesn't end there. The people of Niger have taken up the challenge to reverse desertification. They are reclaiming their land, one tree at a time. They are changing farming practices, adopting agroforestry and conserving water. It's a daunting task, but they are determined to succeed. Now, we find ourselves in the midst of an incredible transformation. Despite the odds, Niger is turning back the sands of time. The journey is far from over but the first steps towards a greener, more sustainable future have been taken. Today Niger is witnessing a green revolution, one that is reshaping its landscapes and its people's lives. In the heart of the Sahel, a remarkable transformation is taking place. Against the backdrop of scorching heat and arid landscapes, the people of Niger are rising to the challenge of desertification, introducing a range of innovative and sustainable practices that are turning deserts into fertile land. One such method is the practice of farmer-managed natural regeneration, or FMNR. This agroforestry technique encourages the growth of trees and shrubs alongside crops, creating a diverse and sustainable ecosystem that not only prevents soil erosion, but also increases crop yield. These trees act as natural windbreaks, their roots holding the soil together while their leaves provide much-needed shade and nutrients. Another technique being implemented is the use of contour buns. 
embankments of earth built along the natural contour of the land. These buns are instrumental in capturing rainwater and runoff, preventing soil erosion and enhancing the moisture content of the soil. This simple yet effective method has led to the revival of hectares of barren land, turning them into productive, arable fields. The Zai technique is another ingenious practice. It involves digging small pits in the ground into which manure or compost is added before planting seeds. These pits capture and store rainwater, concentrating nutrients and moisture around the plants. The result? Higher crop yields and improved soil fertility. In addition to these practices, the government and local communities are working together to enforce strict regulations to prevent overgrazing and deforestation. This collective effort has resulted in the successful reforestation of vast tracts of land, restoring biodiversity and bringing life back to the desert. The transformation is remarkable but the journey is far from over. The resilience and determination of the people of Niger combined with the power of sustainable agricultural practices are creating a green revolution that promises a brighter, greener future. This is not just about combating desertification, it's about creating a sustainable future for generations to come. The transformation is remarkable, but the journey is far from over. The progress made in Niger serves as a beacon of hope for other regions grappling with desertification. But we must remember, this is not the end of the journey, but rather the beginning of a road less traveled. A road that leads towards a future where every arid region can bloom with green life. The future plans for Niger and other areas facing similar challenges are ambitious yet crucial. The target is to further extend the green revolution, to convert more desert lands into fertile farms, lush forests, and vibrant communities. The objective is to create a sustainable ecosystem, where people and nature can thrive together, in harmony. But achieving these goals is no small task. It requires the collective effort of not just the local communities, but also the global community. We need to increase awareness about the gravity of desertification and the potential solutions at hand. More importantly, we need to act. Global initiatives, international cooperation and shared knowledge can play a vital role in this endeavor. We also need to invest in technology and innovation. Techniques like water harvesting, agroforestry and permaculture can potentially transform barren lands into productive landscapes. And who knows, with advancements in science, we might even discover more efficient and effective methods. Moreover, we need to empower the local communities. After all, they are the ones at the front lines of this battle. By providing them with the necessary tools, training and resources, we can ensure that they are well equipped to combat desertification. The road ahead is long and filled with challenges. But let's not forget, every journey starts with a single step, and Niger has already taken that step. Now it's time for the rest of us to follow suit. Remember, the battle against desertification is not just Niger's battle, but a global one. It's a battle for our planet, for our future. So let's stand together, let's fight together, and let's turn the tide against desertification. So, what can we learn from Niger's Green Revolution? Well, first off, we've explored the process of desertification, a global crisis that often goes unseen. It's a process that turns fertile lands into deserts, drastically affecting the livelihoods of millions. We've seen how Niger, a country in West Africa, has been particularly affected by this environmental challenge. But then, we witnessed a remarkable transformation. Against all odds, the people of Niger have turned the tide, proving that it's possible to reverse desertification. They've turned barren lands into green landscapes, creating a lifeline for their communities. It's a testament to their resilience and determination, a beacon of hope for areas around the globe facing similar challenges. How did they achieve this? Through a combination of traditional and innovative techniques, Farmer Managed Natural Regeneration or FMNR played a significant role. Farmers protected and managed the growth of trees and plants, naturally regenerating on their lands. This method not only combats desertification, but also increases agricultural productivity and resilience to climate change. But the journey doesn't end there. The transformation in Niger is a stepping stone towards a larger goal. It's about creating a sustainable future, not just for Niger, but for the entire planet. The techniques used in Niger can be implemented in other regions affected by desertification. The success story of Niger serves as a valuable lesson for the rest of the world. It's important to realize that the battle against desertification is not a solitary fight. It's a collective effort, involving not just the communities directly affected but all of us. Climate change is a global challenge and it requires a global solution. 
The journey to combat desertification is a testament to human resilience and innovation. It's a journey that we all must embark on, for the sake of our planet and future generations. Let's take inspiration from Niger's Green Revolution and strive to make our own contributions to this global endeavor.